Dear students, I am Bharat Kashyap, lecturer Biology at GSSS, Majwar, District Mandi. Today, I am going to teach you 8th chapter of Biology, Human Health and Diseases. And today's topic is Immunity and its Types. Today's topic, Immunity. Immunity is the overall ability of the organisms to fight the disease-causing organisms. It is provided by the immune system of the body. Immunity is of two types, innate immunity and acquired immunity. Let us classify the immunity. This is what we have done, innate and acquired immunity. Innate is due to genetic factors and it is inborn whereas acquired which is acquired in lifetime it is of two types active and passive active is due to immunity provided by own antibodies it may be natural when exposure to some infectious agent it may be artificial it is due to immunization whereas Acquired is called passive when ready-made antibodies are introduced into the organism's body. It may be natural due to maternal antibodies. It may be artificial when antibodies are provided from other source. So this is the classification of immunity. Now innate immunity. The immunity which occurs by birth is called innate immunity. It is non-specific type of defense system of body. It consists of various barriers which prevent the entry of microorganisms into the body. Now types of barriers. First one are physical barriers. Skin on our body is the main barrier which prevents entry of the microorganisms. Mucus coating of the epithelium lining the respiratory, gastrointestinal and urinogenital tracts also trap microbes entering our body. Then physiological barriers, acid in stomach, saliva in mouth, and tears from eyes all prevent microbial growth. Then cellular barriers, leukocytes or WBC of our body like polymorphonuclear leukocytes, we also call them PMNL neutrophils, monocytes, natural killer T cells all present in the blood and macrophages in tissue all phagocytose and destroy microbes. Then cytokine barriers. Virus infected cells secrete proteins called interferons which protect non-infected cells from further viral infection. Now acquired immunity. It develops during lifetime by exposure to suitable foreign agents like microorganisms is called acquired immunity. It is pathogen specific and is characterized by memory. Acquired immunity produces two types of responses in our body, primary immune response when our body encounters a pathogen for the first time, it produces a response of low intensity called primary response. Then secondary immune response. If the body encounters the same pathogen again, it produces highly intensified and quick response called as secondary immune response. Hence our body appears to have 
द कैपेसिटी टू रिमेंबर द मेमोरी ऑफ द फर्स्ट एनकाउंटर द प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी इम्यून रिस्पॉन्सिस आर कैरीड आउट विद द हेल्प ऑफ टू स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ लिम्फोसाइट्स प्रेजेंट इन अवर ब्लड दीज आर बी लिम्फोसाइट्स द बी लिम्फोसाइट्स प्रोड्यूस एन army of proteins in response to pathogens into our blood to fight with them called as antibodies then t lymphocytes the t lymphocytes themselves do not produce antibodies but help b cells to produce them now let us discuss structure of an antibody this is the diagram of antibody each antibody molecule consists of four polypeptide chains two are long and called heavy chains two are short and called light chains both are arranged in shape of letter y hence an antibody is represented as H2L2. The antibodies are protein molecules, also called immunoglobulins, and are of various types, like IgA, IgM, IgE, and IgG. Let us understand. This is the diagram of antibody. Heavy chain. These are the light chains both have constant and variable regions these two chains are joined by disulfide bridges this is the antigen binding site here and now look here the antibodies join to the antigens this is how they join antigens and block them let us study in detail acquired immune response it is of two types first one is humoral immune response then cell mediated immune response humoral immune response it is antibody mediated response also known as ami it is due to the different types of antibodies produced by b lymphocytes found in blood as these antibodies circulate in plasma of blood cell lymph hence called humoral immune response now let us discuss cell mediated immune response or immunity also called cmi it is formed of highly specialized cells called t lymphocytes the body is able to differentiate self and non self and the cell mediated immune response is responsible for the graft and transplanted organ rejection they directly attack the pathogenic microbes or grafts or transplanted organs like hearts eye liver kidney or skin grafts etc taken from another person these grafts or organs from any source like an animal another primate or any human beings cannot be made since the grafts would be rejected sooner or later tissue matching blood group matching are essential before undertaking any graft or transplant even after transplantation the patient has to take immunosuppressants the medicines to prevent cmi in all his or her life now let us study active and passive immunity 
active immunity when a host is exposed to antigens which may be in form of living or dead microbes or other proteins antibodies are produced in host body this type of immunity is called active immunity active immunity is slow and takes time to give its full effective response injecting the microbes deliberately during immunization or during natural infection induce active immunity now passive immunity when ready made antibodies are directly given to protect the body against foreign agents it is called passive immunity for example the colostrum secreted by mother during the initial days of lactation has abundant antibodies iga the fetus also receives some antibodies from their mother through placenta during pregnancy are few examples of passive immunity let us understand how we develop acquired immunity it it is developed by two ways active and passive immunity which we develop after being exposed to an infection or getting a vaccine is called active immunity it may be divided into two types it is called natural when antibodies made after exposure to an infection that is after bacterial infection we can say and other is artificial when antibodies made after getting a vaccination so this is the after vaccination now the passive immunity it is the immunity which we acquire from someone or something else it is acquired by two ways natural when antibodies are transmitted from mother to baby this we can say and other is the artificial when antibodies acquired from an immune serum medicine they are already prepared they are introduced in the body for example monoclonal antibodies so with this we come close to today's lecture i hope you must have found it interesting and understood it completely with this thanks for watching